For this week's podcast in English.com, we're talking about another popular symbol of Britain, the post box. So, Jackie, why do you think they're so popular? It's interesting, isn't it? Because uh, there are 100,000 post boxes in the UK, so they should be a rather boring everyday object. So I suppose it's the design and the, the history of the design. The post boxes that we see today on the street corner are still based on the original 1859 design. That's uh, almost 150 years old. So who, who designed them then? Um, well, the very first post boxes, um, they've been in use since 1852. They were green and they were put in the market square in Jersey and uh, a local guy, a local engineer uh, in Jersey designed them. Um, but then they didn't appear in London until a few years after that, in 1855. Okay, but they're all very similar now, aren't they? And there are, are there still some of the originals around? Not the very first ones, no. Um, but the ones in Jersey are still very, very old. But the ones today, they're all red, aren't they, the ones in the UK? Just like the buses. Although there used to be all sorts of different colours, didn't they? Yes, red became the standard colour, like the buses, um, in 1874, and it took 10 years to, to repaint them all. Hmm, and there's certainly a lot of history connected to post boxes, isn't there? I mean, I like the fact that it's easy to tell when they were made. I think if you look at um, some of them, you can see the letters VR on them, which stands for um, Victoria Regina, that means, Vic that means Queen Victoria. And so, if you see that, you know that the, the post box was built before 1901. Yes. So she died in 1901, so those ones are well over 100 years old. And the initials are easy to spot, aren't they? Because they're on the front of the, of the post box. And if you look closely, there's sometimes a crown you can see as well. Yes, because I think the crown is still the symbol of the post office in the UK. The Royal Mail. Yes. So... Queen Victoria, she died in 1801. 1901. 1901, sorry. So she was followed by King Edward VII. So the ones built during his reign have ER on them. Yes, and it's easy to know that they're not the modern ones from the present Queen Elizabeth. Because if you look, if you look carefully, you can see the number 7 in Roman numerals. So that's ER7. So ER7 is King Edward, and ER2 would be the present Queen Elizabeth. Yes, and the initials can be quite fancy as well. And, OK, so after King Edward, Richard? That would be George V in 1910. So although he was George V, I think those post boxes, they just have GR with no number. Yes, and he was followed by... Edward VIII. Now, he was only king for 11 months. So therefore, there weren't very many made with ER8 on them. They're really quite rare. But we spotted one, I think it was near your sister's house. Hmm, a bit surprising, that one. But yes, there are still a few around. Um, but after him, George VI, he was around for longer, wasn't he? 1936 to 1952. So there's quite a few GR6s. And finally, we're, we're on to Queen Elizabeth II, ER2. Um, she's been queen since 1952, so of course plenty of those, including some fat double post boxes as well, you can see. Yes. So a little project for listeners in the UK. The next time you pass a post box, can you identify in whose reign it was built? OK, thanks a lot, Richard. OK, bye-bye. <laughs>